Hey everyone, my name is Christine Javier, and today I'm going to work on FreeCodeCamp's mutations algorithm. Um, so the directions here are to return true if the string in the first element of the array contains all of the letters of the string in the second element of the array. Um, and you can read through these test cases, but I'm going to give you the simple gist of it. You're going to get an array input of two elements. Both are going to be words. You want to look at the smaller word, so let's look at here, and you're just going to test and see, does every letter of this word appear in the second word? If not, return false, but if true, then return true. And so in this case, that would return false. Okay, so that's just essentially the gist, because I'm not truly a fan of free code camps directions, I think. I think they're kind of, they're kind of well, not well put. And so looking at the test cases is kind of the best way to like look at it. But anyhow, um, yeah, let's go ahead and work on the text editor. All right, so my game plan. I want to test to see if the smaller word, if all those letters exist in the bigger word. And a good uniform way to go about that is to first sort the array in order such that you have the first word being the smaller word and the second word being the larger word. Okay, so I'm gonna do the sort method, r.sort. It's gonna take a function, an anonymous function, and it's gonna take two inputs representing each element of the array, and it's gonna be return a.length minus b.length. Let's console.log that and see what this looks like. Okay, I'm going to run it. I'd expect hey to appear first in the array. Good. So it runs just like we expected. Now that we have that in mind, I want to apply a test. And the test simply is, I want to test to see if every letter in this word appears in that word. And a great method is called the every method. What every does is it applies a condition to um, an array and it tests to see if every element of that array fulfills that condition. Unless every element, every single one, fulfills that condition, it's going to return false. Otherwise, if every single element does fulfill that condition, then it's going to return true. And so the condition I want to apply is saying, hey, does it exist here? Is there an index of a letter here that, ap that appears here? Okay, so I'm going to see and make that work. Um, let's do... Um, I'm just going to do this in the return statement, return r.every, and much like a lot of other methods, most of them really, if not all, uh, it's going to take in a function, and I'll just make this an anonymous function. Return r.every, um, and actually I don't want to return r.every, I'm testing to see r at, at position 0. Um, and not only that, I want to make it lowercase at this point <clears throat> because um, we're going to run across some test cases where you know, um, you're know you going to have some capital letters and lowercase letters and they're going to clash and you're, it, those should be negligible. A case shouldn't be considered in this algorithm. Um, r0.lowercase.split. So yeah, every is an array method. <clears throat> cool. So it's gonna take in, let's say, an argument x. Cool. Now, what I want to deal with, now we've pinpointed, we've made the every method such that we're tackling every single character of this string because we've turned this string into an array. All right, now we're gonna see return um, whether or not return r at position one, dot to lowercase, dot index of x. All right, so this is saying, okay, so the second word, hello, we're gonna get that string, transform it so that every single letter is lowercase, and we're gonna ask, okay, is there an index of each single letter in this other element of the array? Okay, so let's see what this returns. I'm gonna run it. It returns false, like we'd expect, because H exists in hello, E exists in hello, 
but y doesn't. So every um, evaluates to false in that case. Now let me copy and paste this and see if this works. Okay, it does not. So let's see. Hmm. Floor, floor. Okay, so for some reason the dot to lowercase didn't work, but we'll work on that. What's more interesting to me is that is this test condition here. Because that should return to true. That re should return true because F exists in floor, O exists in floor, R exists in floor. So what's really happening here? Um, and let me show you. I'm going to show you um, on Python Tutor. Actually, let me change the test condition. Okay, so let me run this really quick. It evaluates to false and it should return true. It's a very curious thing. So it's nice to analyze this on Python tutor slash JavaScript. I'm gonna visualize execution. Now I'm gonna just move forward a bit. Um, it goes through each and every single step. So it goes through our sorting. It's gonna, it's gonna transform um, our array, array so that, yeah, you see that floor now. Is, or four is now the, the zeroth element and floor is the first element, which is good. Um, then we're gonna check to see, does F exist in floor? The return value is zero. Okay, this is the key thing here. It returns false. And why is that? Well, falsiness is weird um, if zero is considered as false. So it's like a really cool situation we're in in this case because zero should totally make sense because f is at the zeroth position, but the mere fact that we're returning a zero suggests that it's false. And that's just something to take into account. So um, I want to rewrite this line here. Okay. And I'm just going to say if, um, uh, let's say, if um, r one dot to lowercase um, dot um, dot to lowercase dot index of x. Okay, so we're just checking to see if there's an index equals negative one. Return false, and that's because the index of method. If you return a negative one, that's suggesting that there is no index of that letter. Okay? Now, otherwise, return true. Let's see what happens. And yeah, lo and behold, it returns true. Um, so let's do this again. I'm, I'm kind of worried about the lowercase thing not working, but let's see what happens. Good. Okay, that totally worked. Um, awesome. So... Hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully you're more comfortable using sort, dot index of, and hopefully every is a great method for you because it has proven to be an awesome method for me in many algorithms. All right, have a good day.